is Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I have a fun video that's been long overdue. <laughs> I've been so busy with Vlogmas, I haven't been, oh, I'm squeaking Layla's toy. I'm sitting here right by her. So if you hear that, she's trying to get me to play with her, but I like this background for the Christmas season. I've been so busy with Vlogmas, I have not been doing our, our empties as well as often. <laughs> so I've got a humongous bag of food empties. There are mostly keto foods in here, but there are some other, oh, I just got Layla with this. Um, trash is going everywhere. Um, there are mostly keto empties in here, stuff I want to talk to you guys about. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, I've been showing these a lot in my grocery hauls. We buy these about every week. These are the Carb Counter La Banderita Tortillas. They only have five net carbs. They taste just like a regular white tortilla. I like that they're not whole wheat, a weird texture, anything, and they're really, really good. We make wraps out of them, tacos, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I have several bangs in here. This one is Citrus Twist, and I really, really like this one. It tastes very spritey something like that. Very citrusy. I really, really like this. It's one of my favorites. And then I got this from my um, keto subscription box that they sent me to review my keto. Um, and this is Kill Cliff Recover Performance Recovery Blend. And this was in blood orange. Now I don't really work out. That's something I want to change next year. Um, oops, sorry. I'm trying to zoom you guys out. And, but there was a day where I was go, go, go nonstop. Like I did not sit down all day. My feet were hurting. My back was hurting. And I just like, I'm going to try this. And this was really, really good. It's very orange soda like, and, um, there's no sugar. It's all erythritol. There's B vitamins. I didn't notice like a ton of like, oh, I feel so much better now, but I just went to bed. So <laughs> I don't know, but this is really, really good. Another thing I got from that keto box were these, the smart cakes. I've seen so many people talk about them. And my flavor that I got was, um, cinnamon yes yeah, cinnamon and they're only 38 calories and that you come it gets two in a pack they're five uh they're 38 calories for one zero carb because they have they're nine carbs but there's nine fibers so zero net carbs i wanted to eat both of these but it was nice and i shared one with david <laughs> i did not want to because these were so good. I cannot tell you how much they just tasted like a delicious cinnamony muffin or cupcake. I mean, it was so good. I cannot believe it only had 38 calories. It did not taste like that. These aren't cheap. Otherwise, I would buy them all the time. So if you have not tried this and you're looking for a good, healthy, low calorie muffin or cupcake like treat, these were delicious. Oh my gosh. I can't even say enough good things. Okay. Next up is this Barney, Barney butter, bare smooth almond butter. It's just almonds. There's no sugar. There's no salt. I know it's kind of gross. It's all smeared. Um, I've been putting this in my smoothies. I make green smoothies with spinach, which I'm showing you the lid to this. this, the fresh spinach. I get it wherever, Aldi, Walmart. I take spinach, almond butter, flaxseed, and protein powder, and a little bit of sweetener, and I blend it up with some water. It's so good. It lets me just feel full for a long time and I feel really energized when I drink it. I've since been buying the Aldi version of almond butter which does have a little bit of extra sugar but this stuff is so expensive. It is really good though. It's only three net carbs for two tablespoons which I only use a tablespoon at a time so it's even less but it's really good. Now this is a kid empty. The Chef Boyardee pizza maker. I got this on sale at Kroger for $1.99 and it came with two mixes. Um, I remember making this as a kid. And I remember it being okay. They have since changed this because this was so good. I took a little bite of it. The kids devoured it. I mean, it was really, really good pizza. Um, it comes with the sauce and it comes with like a Parmesan cheese, but we didn't really use that. We just used mozzarella, but it was delicious. I will definitely be buying this again um, if I see it on sale for sure. Here's another thing that came from that keto box. I ate way too many of these at once. I almost ate the whole package at once. These are the Scout Backcountry Organic Pumpkin Seeds, and this was in Mountain Ranch flavor. I love pepitas, and these were the best pepitas I've ever had. They were so flavorful and so good, and I wish I had like tons more of those. They were delicious. Okay, this is my favorite pepperoni, the Kroger Private Selection 
Old World Pepperoni. I like this so much better than any store brand or, or even the Hormel. It has such great quality. And I can usually get these on sale um, when Kroger has sales on the pepperoni. And then you get it at the deli. Like it's in, at my Kroger, it's not like behind the counter or anything, but it's in that area with like their other deli meats that are already pre-sliced. They are so good. And I just had a sale where I stocked up on it. I got them for like $2.99. $2.99, I think, and um, they are a huge package. Like, this is almost a pound, so it's a lot of pepperoni. Okay, we've been loving raspberries. I don't know if it's raspberry season, but they've been on super sale lately, and I really like these. For keto, just a little bit, it really helps get in that feeling of, I like, you know, wanting fruit. This has been the star of the month. The kale slaw from Market Side, which is Walmart. I like don't even want to buy romaine anymore because I love this kale slaw. It's a mixture of broccoli stalks, kale, radicchio. There's a little bit of carrots and cabbage, and it is so good. It's so crunchy. I did not think I would like this. I bought it because of the whole romaine, you know, outbreak where they wouldn't let you buy romaine, and I don't even want to buy romaine anymore. This is like my new favorite thing. I love it. Okay, I tried these because um, I found them at GNC. It's the Smart Sweets Gummy Bears, and these were the sour ones. I, this was my favorite. I also tried the Gummy Fish. I don't know if that's in there or not. Yeah, here it is. I tried these and these. I wasn't a huge fan of these. Um, they had a really weird texture, uh, which I wasn't crazy about. These were really, really good. They taste, they were very sour, which I like sour. Layla's squeaking her toy, trying to get me to play with her. These were really, really good, but these were super expensive, like three something, and they didn't come with a whole lot in there. So unless I get them on super sale or as a gift or a treat or something, I probably won't buy them again. Uh, another thing from that keto box, these are the Hamakua Island Onion Macadamia Nuts. Macadamia nuts are one of those things that I love, but they're so expensive, I don't buy them very often. These were delicious. They, I don't know how much carbs they have because I ripped that part off, but I think it was like one or two. These were from Hawaii. Delicious. I love macadamia nuts. It's probably one of my favorite nuts, but they're so expensive. I don't buy them. I want to show you guys this. I've mentioned it before, but the Aldi Heavy Whipping Cream is my absolute favorite. Um, there's no carrageenan in this. And most most heavy creams have carrageenan, which is like an additive. I don't know exactly what it does, but I know it upsets a lot of people's stomach, and a lot of people can't, there's my dryer, can't eat, uh, drink it. Um, and this does not have that in there. It's just cream with uh, less than 0.5% of gallon gum, which I don't know what that is either, but um, this is a great deal too. I mean, they, they were on sale this week for like $1.55. I mean, that's crazy for heavy whipping cream. Okay. Another bang. This is probably my all-time favorite, the Sour Heads. This is like, it tastes just like a Sour Patch Kid. And when I'm craving that like sour gummy um, thing, this kind of takes the spot of that. It's really, really good. I love the bangs. Y'all know that. Okay. Another thing from the Keto Box. It's all right here. The Intaki Crunchy Cheese Lover Oregano. These were like um, wisps or the another like moon cheese kind of cheese. Um, but this was flavored like or, uh, oregano. It's 100% cheese. It was delicious. Oh my gosh. I, again, like ate the whole thing in one sitting. <laughs> but it, I love oregano and the cheese and the oregano together. It was so good. All-time favorite Quest Bars. I get so many questions. What Quest Bars do you like? Pretty much these are the only ones I will eat just straight out of the package without heating them up or anything like that. I love the birthday cake Quest Bars. Okay, we've been loving the rotisserie chicken and this, this month or the last few months we've tried the buttery garlic flavor. Oh my gosh, and I'm not a huge fan of, butter, of uh, rotisserie chicken like my husband is, but I even ate that, it was really good. There's another tortilla wrapper. Okay, I definitely wanted to mention this. This is the Gourmet Spreadable Cheese from Aldi. And I love the pub cheese I get at Walmart or Publix or Kroger, um, but it's expensive. It's called like, I think it's the name brand, it's like pub cheese. And I love it, but it's so expensive. And this is so much more affordable at Aldi and it tastes it's the same and it has less carbs. Oh my gosh, I like to take it and dip it 
with cucumbers, I even took some pecans and dipped in this. It was really, really good. I'm totally getting another one of those. Um, this, I have actually two packages. I've gone through two of these holiday blend. This is the one I bought. And then my lovely subscriber, Denise, who works at Starbucks, sent me an even bigger package of the holiday blend. And I'm so sad. I just finished the last of it. It is the best. I love the holiday blend from Starbucks. And this is, says herbal and sweet maple notes. It's not too bitter. It's just really nice. Um, it's, it's not weak at all. It's not light, light, light. Like it's not strong enough because I like a medium roast or so, maybe a little bit light, um, but it's really good. Another bang, pina colada. Again, one of my favorites. So tropical tasting. I love it. Purple haze. This one tasted like grape soda, which again, I really liked. I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but it's definitely not my least favorite. It's good. Another bang, blue raz. Again, kind of a blueberry or blue raspberry tasting. Not my favorite. I'm not sure I'd buy it again, but not bad. It was still good. Here is the chicken. Everybody always wants to know, what is the chicken your kids are, are obsessed with? And we've told so many people about this chicken, and you guys always write back and say you love it too. This is the Tyson Honey Breast Tenders. Aldi also has a brand that's exactly the same. And this stuff is so good. I will say the key to making it just even better, make sure you make it in the oven or in the air fryer and get it real, real crispy. You want it like super crispy. It makes it delicious. Okay, I want to tell you guys, I think I might have told you this before. The Aldi, is this Aldi? Yeah, Pure Aqua. Belle Via Grapefruit Sparkling Water. I like this so much better than the LaCroix or the other name brands. The Aldi one, as well as the Kroger brand, and the sparkling water is delicious. Okay, we're getting there. Almonds. I love snacking on the almonds. The Great Value ones are a lot cheaper and they're just as good. So we went through some of those. And also pecans. Pecans are my favorite, like, just staple nut because I can roast them, and put butter on them. I can do the sweetened nuts um, or just my favorite way is just to eat a handful. They're so good and they're so low carb. These only have one net carb. And then the almonds have like two or three. So here is, I accidentally bought a caffeine free bank. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't see that it was cotton <laughs> caffeine free, but this is the cotton candy. I actually really do like the flavor. I'm not usually a fan of cotton candy flavoring, but this was actually really, really good. I would not buy the caffeine free again because I like my caffeine, but this was good. Okay. When I feel sick or, um, just my muscles ache or anything like that doing keto, that can happen sometimes. And I always try to have one of these around because this helps so much. The Powerade Zero, this is the grape flavor. I was always afraid to try the grape one because, and I may have said this before too, I normally don't like grape flavor, but this grape tastes like a sweet tart. It tastes like the purple sweet tart and it's so good. It's my favorite Powerade Zero. So we went through one of those. Okay, lots of the nuts here. Let's see if there's any more. I think that's it. Okay, I'm obsessed with the Blue Diamond Bold Nuts. They only have two nut carbs per serving. This is my, they're both my favorite. Okay, Sweet Thai Chili and then the Sriracha. They're both so good. This one has a little kick to it. It's not super, super hot, but it's really good. And then this one is almost like a, you guys know what sweet chili is, right? It's kind of sweet, kind of spicy, uh, soy sauce kind of flavor. It's good. Okay, we went through Quest. I usually buy Me the Cool Ranch and David the Nacho Cheese. These are a treat, they're not cheap, but they're really, really good when I'm craving a chip. They only have four net carbs and there's they come with pretty good amount of these. I actually made nachos out of these. I showed it in a vlog and I burned them a little bit. They burn, they burn real fast in the oven, by the way. So I would, they were good. I still ate them, <laughs> but next time I would just watch them a little more carefully. This is my favorite thing in life right now, and my Kroger has not had it in like a month, y'all. I wanted to get some for my mom and dad to try, and I cannot find them. So the caramelized and salted Lily's chocolate bar. It's sweetened with stevia. It has such a good salted caramel flavor. Um, this only has, let's see, 12... 
like three net carbs for half the bar. It's so good. And I, I'm obsessed with those. And I also tried the moon cheese. I got these at Kroger. No, Publix is the only place I can find them. And I know I need to buy them on Amazon. It's a better deal. But this was like the tiniest bag and it was not cheap. But I like the moon cheese so much better than the wisps. And um, I love the moon cheese. It's almost like a little ball, like a cheese ball. I've tried to do a homemade version of these and it didn't turn out right. I don't know what I did wrong. But these are so good. And I need to find like a more cost effective way to buy them. They're so good. My favorite way to buy the pre-cooked bacon is at Sam's. You get this huge thing of it, 72 slices and it's $10. I mean, I put these in wraps or we'll heat them up in the morning for breakfast or I'll cut them up and put them in a pizza on a pizza or I mean, on top of our spaghetti squash, all kinds of different things. We like regular bacon too that you cook in the oven that's raw, but for convenience, you can't beat this. And the price, I mean, you guys, for a small package at Walmart, it's like four or five dollars and you get so much more in here. Like so much more. Okay. David also tried the Carb Master chocolate milk. He loved this. <laughs> I haven't bought it since because it is, there is six carbs per cup. So it's, it's a definite treat, but if he's really craving chocolate milk or milk, um, this is worth it because it's so much lower than regular milk. And I mean, even if you're not doing keto, you're just trying to watch your carbs. See if you can find this. It's really good. I tasted it. It tastes just like chocolate milk. Two more bangs and then we're done. The Power Punch. Now, this is the only one that I did not like that I've tried. I did not like it. I made myself drink it, but it did not taste good. I don't know what it tasted like. It had like a bitter taste to me. I didn't like the Power Punch. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, if it's like a fruit punch or what, but it did not taste good to me. So that's the only one that I've ever tried I didn't like. However, I love this one. This is the Peach Mango. It's one of my favorites. I, I say that all the time though. I mean, my top favorites are Sour Heads, Pina Colada, Peach Mango, and the Rainbow Unicorn. Those are my top. They're all tied, but there's a lot I like as well. The only one I don't like is the Power Punch. Anyway, that is it for this huge empty haul. I have some like household products I want to do an empties video with, and um, that should be coming up soon. I need to film that <laughs> for you guys because I have a lot of <laughs> those too. So stay on the lookout for those. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, you know what to do. Give me a huge thumbs up for the empties, and I'll keep saving them as we go on throughout the year. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know of any new products or maybe stuff you have tried that you liked or maybe products that I don't know about. Let me know and uh, please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.